What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, um, Capricorn, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for Sign of Caps. This covers an AKF Caps in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're 13,240 subscribers, so thanks so much for the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I feel guided to do you guys first. Um, we're into the July readings now. I told you guys earlier today I wasn't feeling doing them, but I heard Capricorn, then I got channeled. So I guess we're, we're rolling now. So... Uh, this is for July of 2022. Um, of course, everybody's on a different time of life path. So for some, it could resonate in July. Some outside July, you plug it in, how it resonates, okay? Um, I encourage everyone to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages if they apply for you. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages in however they apply in your own life. Be the leader of your own life. And own discerner of your own life, okay? Love you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say something else and I forgot. <laughs> okay, so the channel message I received, or I received two. So the first one I received for your sign for July of 2022 was, a Capricorn is about to learn um, that someone is about to move out of state very soon. Uh, some out of state, some out of area very soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. That was the first one. The second one I heard, um, a Capricorn is about to move some out of state, some out of area soon. It's about to shock someone else. So a lot of shocking and shocking and moving energy. Um, who, however, this resonates and applies to whatever Capricorn. So one of you guys is about to shock person or people by some moving out of state, some moving out of area. Some of you Capricorn, someone else is going to move out of state or out of area, and it's going to shock you. So you have to plug your own self and situation into the mix, however it applies, if it applies for you there, Capricorn. Experiment to this year outside of cats. Lamb and horse. For some, you could be dealing with earth signs. You have heavy earth sign energy in here. Another earth sign or earth signs. I strongly feel for some you're dealing with two or two plus because you have double double earth sign energy. If you are, they have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thome, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are Capricorn. Share messages you have on caps. And if you think anyone else would like my channel, Capricorn, please feel free to share my channel very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. I'm a single mother of two kids, so it really, really helps support a single mother of two kids and one of her income streams. Um, and I'm currently closed for personal readings right now, just to let everybody know, because I've been getting a lot of questions about that as well. And just a little information on that, they're $125 for 20 minutes when I do open them. If I go over, I do not charge you extra, but they're not open right now. Okay, we have vision. Spirit messages you have a sign capsule. First chakra, Archangel Michael, the sexual sacral chakra, also number 35, could be a very significant number in someone's life possibly. Number 35, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 35. Let me put this closer because a lot of you guys have been complaining you can't hear me. So number th number 35, number 35 could be very significant possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have kind of coming. A Capricorn is about to reveal information on a doppelganger, community doppelganger, they never thought they would. 
very soon. It is becoming imperative to do so. Okay, I heard a Capricorn is about to reveal information on a community doppelganger. Um, I heard they never thought they would, but it's becoming imperative to, to do so. And this is very smart because many shocking series of chain events are about to occur soon. And you don't want to be in the crosshairs. Ooh, I heard this is very smart because many shocking series of chain events are about to occur soon and you don't want to be in the crosshairs. Capricorn, whatever Capricorn that's for. Um, there's some kind of community doppelganger in somebody's community. At least one of you guys' community. Now, it's not you that's the doppelganger. It's somebody else. Now, a doppelganger is somebody that either naturally, externally looks like somebody or they make themselves externally look like somebody through surgery or cosmetics or something like that. But they externally look like somebody. It's not the inside here. It's the outside. It's the external. Um, I heard it, it's it's smart for you to reveal information on this community doppelganger, whoever this person is, and how they apply. Because something's about to happen, apparently. And it's not going to be good for this, uh, for this community doppelganger, I'm presuming. And in, um, you don't want to be caught in the crosshairs. So meaning it's not going to be good, whatever the crap this is. Ooh, are you emotional over a person, people, place, or situation, Capricorn? Or maybe somebody's emotional over you? Um, or maybe you have addictions or somebody else has addictions. Um, when those come out in excess, it can indicate addictions, either in you or somebody you're connected to. Or you being emotional over a person, people, place, or situation, or someone being emotional over you. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a sign of caps. But this community doppelganger is not you. I'll tell you if that message applies to you. It's not you. It's somebody else that's doppelganging some. This person can either be doppelganging you or somebody you're connected to. Problem that resonates. Spirit messages you have to sign up, Capricorn. Spirit messages you have to sign up, Capricorn. By the way, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages, so um, that's very important. I just want to make that clear, okay? Peacock, beware of great pride. Ant, work, achievement, success. Dog, far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. Lamb. A Capricorn is having a huge, huge, huge wake up call that a person they used to deal with in the past, a feminine energy, is a very, very, very sweet person. They were very harsh and cruel to this person in the past, but through many series of chain events, they're about to pay it forward to them in a very positive way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. It's a feminine energy of your past in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I heard you were very harsh and cruel to them in some shape, form, or fashion, but they're actually very, very sweet, so it sounds like you were... Um, you're very regretful of this in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you're about to pay it forward to them in a very positive way. So it could be maybe somebody's been doppelganging this fem energy is what I'm feeling for some. For some, the person could be doppelganging you. For some, they could be doppelganging this fem energy. You plug it in how it resonates. But it's a fem energy of your past if this message applies for you. Um, you were very harsh and cruel to her in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. But you have regrets now. Um, she's coming off as a, a sweet um, energy. Lambs are very sweet and gentle. So I think she's actually very sweet and gentle and um, loving is what I think. I didn't hear she was, but I feel she is. She's coming off as the lamb energy. Um, but you were very harsh and cruel to her in some shape, form, or fashion. But... And for some, I feel it involves this fem doppelganger. And I'm just being serious. But 
you're about to pay it forward to her in some shape, form, or fashion. So however you're about to pay it forward to her, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So she's coming off as the lamb energy, very um, sweet and um, docile and loving. Um, how would that resonate? A web of lies are about to be unraveled very soon. A Capricorn is about to help unravel them for one. For one, a Capricorn is caught up in the lies. Too far gone. Okay, I heard a Capricorn, um, a web of lies is about to be unweaved, basically. Uh, one of you guys, you're about to help unweave these lies. For one, the web of lies. For one, you're too caught up in the web of lies. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Ooh, that's why I keep it my freaking self, man. I don't, I'm not getting caught up in nobody's lies, and that's just the truth. Confirmation for my fat boy. Come on, baby. Horse. Horseback riding is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. And a petting zoo is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. Okay, I heard horseback riding is about to become significant in a Capricorn's life. And a petting zoo is about to become very significant in a uh, Capricorn's life. Well, those are all fun things to do. I've horseback I have horseback ridden before. And I love petting zoos. So, you plug it in how it resonates, Paps. Um, that's beautiful. So, I think a horse is going to be at this petting zoo. Horse or horses. Um, and... Obviously, horse would be physical horse, both aspects here. The horseback riding and I think a horse or horses at the petting zoo. You plug it in how it resonates. A stuffed horse is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. A stuffed horse is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. So some kind of stuffed horse energy, like a stuffed animal um, that is a horse. It's about to become significant in one of you guys' life or somebody you're connected to. Because um, just because I say significant in a Cap's life, it doesn't have to be your life. It could be some another Capricorn you're connected to. Um, so you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Peacock, beware of great pride. A very militant, masculine energy is about to really test your patience. For some, it's a family member. For some, it's a co-worker. It would not be smart to engage too much in this conversation. It would be smart to take it up the chain. Know this. In the workplace situation. Okay. So, um, I heard a very militant and aggressive, you know this person is aggressive. Okay, militant and aggressive masculine energy. For some, it's a family member that's militant and aggressive. He's a masculine energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. For some, it is a um, militant and aggressive co co-worker, I heard. Um, for the co-working situation... I heard he's about to basically, um, now you can be a masculine or feminine, how this resonates, but your co-worker over here and both we well, co-worker or your um, family member is a masculine, militant, masculine, aggressive energy. So for some, I feel they could have been in the military or just used militant tactics, tactics, how that resonates. But how that resonates, whether it's your family member or your militant, masculine, aggressive family member or your militant, masculine, aggressive, co-worker um they're about to come at you aggressively 
um, in the co-working situation, I heard it's going to get so bad, you're going to want to basically book back. You're going to be very prideful. You're going to want to book back. Um, but I heard in that situation, it would not be smart to engage too much in conversation with them. Be smart to take it up the chain. So to your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO in that situation, because you're going to want to bug back, Capricorn, um, whoever you are. You're going to be very prideful. I think they're going to hurt your pride or your ego. You're going to want to bug back. I heard it would not be smart to go engage too far in that. Um, you need to take it up the chain. So, of course, you can listen to his spiritual downloads or not. You plug it in, how it resonates. Come on, booger. Let's see if we hear anything else with a family member. For the family member, it'd be smart to tell another family member to expose this. For the family member, it'd be smart to uh, tell it to another family member to expose this. So, um, you, of course, you can take the spiritual downloads or not. Um, I heard for um, the family member situation, it's a masculine, aggressive, and militant style family member. I heard it'd be smart to tell another family member to expose it. So you're, you're going to be very prideful. I think they're going to hurt your ego and your pride. Um, they're going to come at you very aggressive and militant style, which that is yikes, 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 um, yikes. Father for some. Father for some is what I heard. Husband for some. Father for some, husband for some. For some, a cousin. So for some, it's a father. For some, it's a um, a, a father, a husband, and a uh, cousin. Masculine. Aggressive and militant style. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And work, achievement, success. A Taurus is about to finally recognize a Capricorn in their workplace. Finally. About to be moved up the ladder through many series of chain of events. Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to finally recognize a Capricorn in their workplace, about to move them up the chain, um, up the ladder. Through many series of chain events. So I think you're going to get a raise or a promotion, Capricorn. I heard you're about to be moved up the, the ladder there um, in your workplace. So um, it, I feel it could be involve a raise or a promotion. Um, definitely. I think a raise or a promotion. Um, for some corporate. For some corporate is what I heard. Holy crap. So for some corp a corporate, corporate position. Um, right now, I feel you um, you work in a facility off the corporate entity, like corporate and then the facility or facilities. I think you work in a facility or corporate. So I think you're about to get promoted to corporate through many series of chain of events for one of you guys. For one, you're working on a very important project. You work for the government. It will be very it will be very significant and very successful with lots of hard work. Top secret. Oh shit! Whoa. Okay. So for one, you work for the government. Um, I heard top secret, and it's a current project you're working on for the government. Um, top secret, and I heard it's gonna be very successful with lots of hard work. Now, that's all I heard, and thank God, because I'm not revealing no trade secrets up in this bitch, and that's just the truth. Uh, but you you work for the government. Uh, if I heard too much, of course, I wouldn't say it, but I'm just saying. You work for the government, top secret. So, it's some kind of, I think you have to have a top secret security clearance, exactly what I think. You have to have a top secret security clearance, um, and um, whatever this is, it's very top secret work um, that you do for the government, whoever you are, Capricorn. Um, 
I heard this can be very successful with a lot of hard work. Apparently, it's very important. Hopefully, it doesn't harm people. Um, like MK Ultra, just saying, just saying, or MK Ultra type things. A Capricorn is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. A Capricorn is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. I'm serious. I'm serious. If you don't know what MK Ultra is, please Google it. That's some serious toxic shit. If you might need to hear that. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. A teenager is about to wreck a vehicle. A very nice vehicle. Know this. A teenager is about to wreck a vehicle soon. A very nice vehicle. Know this. For some, it's your teenager. For some, it is your step teenager. For some, it is your teen teenager. For some, it is your step teenager. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so for some, it's your teenager. For some, it's your step teenager. They're about to uh, wreck a very nice vehicle. Very bad accident. Very bad. Will be lots of injuries. Oh, my God. God, this is terrible. I heard very, very bad accident. Very bad. It's going to incur a lot of injuries. And, oh, dear God. I hope y'all got insurance and I hope they're okay. Um, but I heard lots of injuries and it's going to be a very bad motor vehicle accident and a very bad, a very nice vehicle. I mean, dear Lord, this is terrible. Dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. hospitalization is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. You will get a phone call from someone, very positive person in your life in the past. They have moved far away for many years. They will call you. It will make you very happy. For some, you will be hospitalized. For some, it will be somebody connected to you. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're going to be hospitalized soon. For some, it's going to be somebody connected to you, hospitalized soon. Um, but however that resonates, you've got a friend, that a positive connection friend, um, that sounds like has been close to you over the years, or they were close and they lost connection and such. Um, but however that resonates, it sounds like when you get hospitalized or somebody you're connected to gets hospitalized, they're going to call you. And I think check up on you because they'll be thinking of you. So they want to see how you are, see how you're feeling, see if you need anything. It's a very positive connection. So it's not somebody that betrayed you or backstabbed you or anything of that nature. It is somebody that I think truly cared about you, um, how that resonates. And that's beautiful because we need more people like this in, um, in the world. And that's just the truth. A very ill Virgo masculine that lives a far distance from you is about to become very significant in your life. Very significant. Okay. Oh, my God. See, I, I knew you guys were dealing with earth signs in here. You're pulling in Taurus energy. You're pulling in Virgo energy. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard a very ill Taurus, uh, not Taurus, very ill Virgo that lives a far distance from you is about to become very significant in your life. And like I said, you have the double earth sign energy in here. Um, for so far, you're pulling in Taurus energy, you're pulling in Virgo energy. Of course, you plug the messages in how they resonate, but whoever this message is for, it's a very, um, it's a very ill Virgo that lives very far, far distances from you. They're about to become very significant in your life. Um, I think they think of you often, um, or they were a very significant part of your life. For some, I feel they might could contact you. Um, they're very ill though, whoever they are. Um,
For some, they live in an assisted living facility. For some, they're being secretly poisoned by their wife. And they're figuring this out. Oh my God. For some, they live in an assisted living facility. And for some, they're secretly being poisoned by their wife. And they're figuring this out. So you plug it in how it resonates. Virgo energy. So um, they could have, it's a Virgo masculine. They could have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But they live far distance from you. And I think you have a positive connection with them or you used to. How that resonates. Vision. Clairvoyant visions are about to become very, very, very significant in a Capricorn's life. Very significant. New to you, you are not going to like them. Oh, my Lord. You will get used to them for one. For one, maybe not. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I heard clairvoyant visions are about to become very significant in a cop's life. Um, I heard new clairvoyant visions. So, whoever you are, I think you're, um, one, you're going to get used to them. For one, maybe not, is what I heard. So, um, I hated, I hate clairvoyant visions. Anybody knows me knows that. I'm cool with the clairaudient all day long. I sit here and channel for you all day long. But I hate the clairvoyant ones. Because usually when I get them, I mean, I've got a vision of a wedding before, which was beautiful. But I don't like getting visions of people giving people BJs. And that's just the truth. Um, or for one, you'll get used to them. And for one, maybe not. Um, I think you might get negative visions is what I think. Um, and that's why I hate them. When I got the vision, uh, the wedding one, it was beautiful. But um, I don't like getting visions of people giving people B BJs. And that's just the truth. Who does? Um, but whoever you are, you either, you're open to receive spiritual downloads from the spiritual universe. I'll tell you that. Um, it sounds like the universe is about to bless you with them. They're, I heard they're going to be new to you. So new clairvoyance. Now, I don't know if you currently get dreamscape or dreamscape or a clear audience or the smell one or psychic medium or etc 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 i'm not sure but definite clairvoyant which are the visions um so you plug it in how it resonates this sounds like true spiritual um energy here um but i heard for one you're going to get used to them one maybe not um it, let me see if i hear anything else For one, they will not be spiritual downloads. For one, they will be true mental health issues. We'll be seeing things on walls, seeing things that are not there. Visual hallucinations. Okay, see. So oh, okay. So for one of you guys, they're true visual uh, I'm sorry, true um, spiritual downloads. Um, at least for two, at least for two, it's coming up, true spiritual downloads. One, you will get used to them. One, maybe not. Um, but true spiritual um, energy there. For one, I heard it's mental health issues and it's like auditory, uh, not auditory, sorry, visual hallucinations. Like seeing something on a, wall or seeing something out in um in your world or something that's not there that's that's not what this is that is not what this is i'm just saying just saying this is completely different than hear me hearing my kid say something and they didn't say it like repetitively or me seeing spiders on the wall that doesn't happen because I, that that doesn't happen for me this is different. Me sitting here and channeling in with the visions and the uh, clear audience and the dreamscape and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is completely different than seeing something on a damn wall that's not there. Or me hearing something from the other room that's not there. 
whoever this message is for, you're about to true, truly start having mental health issues. Truly are. Um, and it's going to be in the form of um, um, visual hallucinations, meaning you're going to start seeing something that's not there, either on the wall or on a fridge or what have you, what have you. Um, yikes, no. When I channel in from the spiritual universe, it comes from the inside. Inside of me. Um, and that's just the truth. I don't ever walk around and see something on a wall that's not there. Or hear somebody say something and they're not there. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yikes. Um, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. This sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. This is true mental health issues here. True um, visual hallucinations. Um, yikes. If it's not, uh, hopefully it's not you. Hopefully it's not. Um, it might be somebody you're connected to. You plug it in, how it resonates. First chakra, Archangel Michael. A teen pregnancy is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. Older Capricorn feminine. For some, it's your own child. For some, it is a family member's child. You are about to be so mortified. Okay, I heard a teen pregnancy is about to become very significant in an older Capricorn feminine's life. Um, I heard for some, it's going to be your child that's about to get pregnant. For some, it is about to be somebody you're connected to's child. Um, I heard a teen pregnancy. So, you know, I'm thinking minor energy for a lot of you guys, um, if this resonates for you. I'm thinking minor energy, 17 or below. But for some, it could be 18 or 19. You plug it in how it resonates. But for some, it's your child. For some, it's a child you're connected to. You are an older Capricorn femme, so I feel you're 35, 36 or above. You could have caps in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the main energy of your charts if this resonates for you. Heard it's going to embarrass the hell out of you. Um, for some, the baby's father could be another earth sign, possibly, because we're pulling double earth sign energy, possibly. If they are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the main energy of your charts if that resonates. Teen pregnancy energy. And we had the first chakra energy, which is a sexual, sacral chakra. So, um, Unprotected sex, I'm feeling here. Unprotected sex, which is going to lead to the pregnancy. Or for some, your child or the child connected to you could be an earth sign, possibly. Or it's a Capricorn Virgo that's about to get pregnant, possibly, for some. Heard it's going to embarrass the hell out of you. And a sex change of a family member is about to shock the hell out of you. Shock the hell out of you. Ooh, that was double confirmation. I heard, and a sex change of a family member is about to shock the hell out of you, shock the hell out of you. So some kind of sex change of a family member. Um, it's not you, Capricorn. It's somebody you're connected to. Um, some kind of family member. Um, uh, it sounds like they're about already got the sex change or they're about to get the sex change and it's going to shock the hell out of you. So in this aspect, the first chakra is the sex change energy because um, first chakra deals with um, deals um, with sex or genitals or something of that nature down there, like um, sexual intercourse or um, sex drive or sex change, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, Lord. Let me see if I have anything else. I heard it's of a family member. It's going to shock the hell out of you.
an older Sagittarius masculine eel and an older Sagittarius feminine eel are about to become very significant in Capricorn's lives. Very significant. Okay. An older eel Sag femme and an older eel Sag masculine is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. So heavy Sagittarius energy in here, but these people are older, so I'm feeling 35 or 36 or above. For some, probably way older, possibly. They could have Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and have energy for your charts. For some, you guys, it's a Sag masculine. Some it's a Sag femme. For some, it could be both. You have to plug these people in, how they resonate, but they're very ill, um, or they're about to become very ill, and they're about to become very significant in your life in some shape or more fashion. Sagittarius, heavy Sag energy. Older side energy, masculine or feminine. A contracting position is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life and a broken down minivan. A contracting position is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life and a broke down minivan. Um, so this could be you obtaining a contracting position or somebody you're connected to obtaining a contracting position, Sag, because uh, energies can be reversed. Or your broke down minivan or somebody connected to you's broke down minivan. Um, it doesn't sound like the minivan has broken down yet, but it's about to. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. And a date. And a date. Okay, and a date. And music in a park. And music in a park. Okay. And a date and a music and music in a park. So a date is about to become significant in your life. It could be you going on a date or somebody connected to you going on a date. And some kind of music in the park energy. Um, obviously, that's music playing in a park. I feel for some, you could be going to this park that's playing music. Or somebody connected to you could be going to this park playing music. But somehow, this park playing music is going to become significant in your life in some shape or more fashion. Um, and um, what was the other one? Um, um, you'll have to go back and check the other one. Significant communication from the state is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life as well. For some, it's positive. For some, it's negative. Significant communication from the state is about to become very significant as well. For some of you guys, this communication from the state is positive. For some, this communication from the state is negative. So, um... I feel you are directly receiving this communication from the state. I feel it's probably mail uh, is what I'm feeling. For some, it could be email. I mean, it really all depends. Um, do you work for the state um, or do you um, or do you not? Um, because I know when I worked wellness for the state, of course, many years ago, but when I did, we communicate through email. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. For some, you feel I feel you could work for the state, and maybe you're communicating with coworker or manager, boss, or CEO through email, encrypted um, email, or it could be something like Medicaid or Medicare or uh, or some kind of state assistance, or somebody else getting state assistance, or something of that nature. Um, how that resonates, um, but you are directly involved with this communication with the state. Whoever you are and have this class, Sag, um, not Sag, um, Capricorn. You could have Caps in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts if this resonates for you, Capricorn. J F N H J F N H J 
J-F-N-H. J is in jack-o'-lantern. F is in um, Frank. N is in Ness. H is in horse. K. A. P. K A P. K is in kite. A is in apple. P is in panda. Uh, to me, I feel those that could be initial, first, middle, or last initial of you or somebody you're connected to, um, or any other significant initial in one's life. However, that resonates. Okay. We're pulling in a lot of situations in here, so um, you have to plug these initials in how the, they resonate and apply to you. Let me see if I hear anything else. C. C. C is in cat. A Capricorn is about to promote a reader soon. They never thought they would promote them, but they're about to do it. Way too on point. Okay, I heard a Capricorn is about to, about to promote a reader soon. They never thought they would. Way too on point is what I heard. So um, you plug that in, however that resonates. If that resonates for you, Capricorn, um, you could have caps in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, but... Uh, whoever you're, whatever reader you're about to promote, um, I think it's a tarot card reader because I heard a reader. It could be me or any any other reader. There's a bazillion readers, but I will tell you whoever this reader is, whether it's me or somebody you're connected to, um, because obviously you'll be watching me and you hear me say this. Um, they're way too on point. So something they have said or something they've said is about to resonate in your life already has or already has resonated in your life and it's way too on point how that resonates and applies in one slide capital if that resonates and applies for you okay a vacation homes foundation is about to crumble Completely crumble. This vacation home will be unlivable within about three months. Know this. Oh my God. Whoa. Now, this doesn't have to be your vacation home. It could be somebody you're connected to's vacation home, but some kind of vacation home energy, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to's, um, some kind of vacation home energy, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to. I heard the foundation is about to completely crumble. Um, it's going to be unlivable within the next three months. Um, so whoever's vacation home this is, it sounds like it's an old vacation home. Um, or it was built on faulty foundation. How that resonates? Or there was, or an earthquake, earthquake occurs or did occur and it freaking crumbles the foundation. I don't know. I didn't hear specifics on that. But whether it's your vacation home or somebody you're connected to's vacation home, somebody's vacation home, whatever the circumstances they are, the foundation, so the actual foundation of the home underneath the flooring is about to completely crumble. I heard it will be unlivable within three months. You plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. And a leather whip is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. In high heel boots. Oh my lord. And a dominatrix. Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> no judgments here, Capricorn. And uh, <laughs> a leather whip, high heel boots, and a dominatrix is about to become very significant, at least one of you guys is like. So, I think one of you guys likes dominatrixes. I think you like to be spanked or whipped. Um. Well, I heard they're about to become significant in your life. So it doesn't have to be you that likes to be spanked or whipped. For some, you could be. For some, you could be the do dominatrix. Um, and I'm serious. Um, for some, you could know a dominatrix. Maybe they're teaching you the ropes. For some, um, 
maybe they're becoming a negative influence in your life. Maybe your significant other is being spanked by this dominatrix. I'm not sure. But somehow a, do a dominatrix and a leather whip and very tall stiletto type leather boots are about to become very significant in a cat's life. In all seriousness, I feel one of you guys is a dominatrix. Um, or you're connected to a dominatrix, or you're looking to become a dominatrix. Um, and I'm just being serious, um, for real, for real. For one, I feel you like to be spanked by a dominatrix. And I mean, I'm just keeping it real up on here. And I'm being for real. But somehow, a leather whip, long, high heel leather boots, like stiletto type, I'm feeling. And a dominatrix is about to become very significant in your life there, Capricorn. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a Capricorn is about to completely throw a Gemini under the bus. They know they have lied to them in so many ways, ways and they are right. And a Pisces. Pisces doppelganger. And a Capricorn is about to throw a Gemini and a Pisces feminine. A Gemini masculine. A Gemini masculine and a Pisces feminine completely under the bus because they know this Gemini masculine and this Pisces feminine has completely lied to them. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit in that message. You um, you have been lied to by this Gemini masculine and this Pisces femme doppelganger. Um, and you're about to throw them under the bus. But it's because, in all fairness, you know you've been lied to by them. So you plug it in how it resonates there, Capricorn. You can be masculine or femme. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, I'm getting out of this. All right, I love you guys. If you think anyone else um, would like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth. Love you guys so much. Namaste.